A man from Troy, the survivor of a deadly car crash that left him with a severe brain injury. Well, he's now being honored at this weekend's March On for Brain Injury Walk. Yeah, we spoke to him and his mother about what happened, how he's recovered, and why it's so important to him to share his story. I used the bulk 340. At times, it may be hard to understand Caleb Brunick, but he's come a long way from where he was after surviving a devastating car crash nearly three years ago. Fun time. Do not recommend it. And one thing that's still intact, his humor. He was a comic, living and working abroad in Estonia when the crash happened. He was in a car with his friend when it collided with the tractor trailer that jackknifed on an icy road. His friend died in the crash, and Caleb was in horrific shape. He had extensive injuries all over his body, multiple broken bones. Um, but the most severe was his brain. They told us he would never walk, talk, eat, breathe on his own. Um, they thought he was blind. Growing up, I always knew that those, that bad thing could happen, but you never think, well, they're going to happen to me. Caleb says he lost 31 pounds in the month after the accident. His mother says she was prepared to say goodbye. I told him if he wants to go. I support him if he wants to stay. I'll support him. And from that moment on, he just kept fighting. Fighting through a transfer back to the U.S., a stay at Sunnyview Rehabilitation Hospital in Schenectady, and months and months of occupational therapy, physical therapy, and speech therapy, which he still does. Caleb now using that voice not to perform comedy anymore, but to share his story and raise awareness of traumatic brain injury. He'll be doing exactly that this weekend at the March On for Brain Injury Walk in the Hudson Valley. I just feel that every survivor has a voice, and I think Caleb will do a good job at uh, making sure not only his voice is heard, but all their voices are heard. I'm making it my purpose and my reason, and that drives me to how can I help you? A more than likely chance that um, you know someone with a, brain, uh, with a brain injury. You do. I already guarantee you, you do. What an amazing guy, I know. right? I know. So and, I can't, much that and he's all, been through. And everything, you know, you mentioned in there that they said that they <laughs> didn't think he was going to be able to do. Yeah. And yet he was able to do it. The brain is just so mysterious. And, it really is. Yeah. It really is. Again, that walk is happening Saturday at 10. It starts on the Highland side of the walkway over the Hudson. We have a link on our website where you can donate to the walk. It supports programs and services from the Brain Injury Association of New York State. So it's awesome. a good cause.